You're good. Uh, 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 uh. 
Amen. Yeah. Right, baby, That's all the one that said. Isn't that a blessing? Yes, it is. Hold up the prayer. We got one. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. After the announcement of President elect Biden's announcement of being President elect, I'll forget where I was driving. And I rode past him. It was, a, it was obviously a homeless man. He was, it, was, it was going up in Millen. I was trying to find everything I said to get to cut this morning, but I was going up Millen where the old produce work was because of the gentleman laying out there. Mm -hmm. It just pressed upon my mind how blessed we are. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Takes up the rain. Yeah. So it was great to be here. So Amen. I honor my wife. Stop and finish. Yeah. Oh no. Then you realize mm -hmm. how much I'd love to teach come on, come on. God's word. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And how much I love how much I love my family. Mm -hmm. I kill for those grandbabies. Come on. Come on. Come on. I kill for those grandbabies. Mm -hmm. Come on. Praise God. Bible talking about grandparents. Congratulations again. Yeah. 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 Which is my nephew's yes. young sales uh, son. So that tells you they all got something going on there with the. <laughs> you saw where I pointed, didn't you? <laughs> so we just talk a little bit, and it's hard to talk. Yes. It's, just, it's good to be in a different atmosphere. Yes. It's different. It's not traditional. I see his grandma. So I'm not even here like to see you. God says so. Pray God. We tend to put together a message. The Lord, do this what He wants us to say. We 
because it's a scale whether it starts to add stuff to it. Mm. It's not one of those too much to the Lord let us know. Praise God. Young man sitting there on the next to last row, what are your names? I got this, my hair is a little faded in this ear. I don't think I'm here right. What's the name again? Malachi. Malachi? <laughs> Say that like you proud of that name, young man, Malachi. What about you? He's Malachi too. He's that Malachi. big Malachi. He's he Malachi too. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the right boys. The right boys. The, right boys. All right. All right. the, the parents and the parents standing right there. Well, Proud parents. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them grinning. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> Sister, Tony, you set? I'm set. Play the role. This is a little victory song. Everybody sing the praise of God. I'm like this elected a savior. I'm not down on what happened. I know this is going to be big. We've got to keep it in perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. given, we didn't elect the next savior. All, All right. right. Come on. Yeah. Ready to start? Yeah, I know we sang this song, a little Donnie McClurkin song from a little while ago. We sang this to set the tone and we'll move into the word. Amen. Is that all right? Amen. 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 Yeah. 
land. Yes. Hallelujah. You will take us to the land. Yes. You will conquer. Yes. In your name and for the name that Jesus reigns. Amen. Amen. I told the church last week, I don't care who gets selected. Amen. I'm going to I'm praying just as hard as I pray again. That's right. Amen. Amen. Who's the White House and affecting my praise? That's right. And none of them die for me anyway. That's right. Jerry Rice. Everybody, everybody know who Jerry Rice is? The Hall of Fame wide receiver for the San Francisco 49ers. Yes. He was, he's out in California signing out late. They met each other. They went to the training camp or something. And Jerry Rice came over to him and said, Do you want my autograph? And LJ said, No, I don't want your autograph. You ain't dying for nobody. <laughs> Timber and 
we will stone and repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made for them of the money that was delivered into their, unto their hand, because they dealt faithfully. Verse 8. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. Shaphan the scribe came to the king and brought the king word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Shaphan the scribe showed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book. And Shaphan read it before the king. And it came to pass when the king had heard, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest, and the high priest, the son of Shaphan, and Akbor, the son of Micaiah, and Shaphan the scribe, and Asahiah, the servant of the king, saying, Go ye, inquire of the Lord for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest, and Hyphen, and Akbor, and Shaphan, and Asahiah went unto Holdah the prophetess. That's a woman, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks. Come on. Uh oh. <laughs> a lot of folks didn't go for the buy ticket. Wouldn't buy them because the issue was. Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And the final verse, Ephesians 3, verse number 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly.
God for 30 years. Praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, uh, no church in the last 30 days. Praise God. Uh, hallelujah. You don't know. Come on. <laughs> like we know. Oh! What the Lord has done. Oh! For us. Glory to God. Also, this past week, November 4th, 1984, I celebrated my 36th year in ministry. Disobeyed for his 
uh, <clears throat> the word of the Lord. Several things going on again. The book was lost in the temple. I noticed mostly the reaction of the Bible uh, when they heard it. Went to the book of the law when they heard it and read it. And it had to be a sense of inherent and divine authority that the scriptures had for them to for them to have for the king to have responded to the word like this. Yes. Uh, not that the and it's not that the word has to adjust to us. That's what we're doing. We're making the word adjust to us. Yes. We got to adjust to the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, I had to focus a little bit. Yes. Uh, we, 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 we're making the word adjust to yes. us. Yes. We got to adjust to the word. Yes. But Man. Back, they said it seemed good to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Then us. We're going to flip it around. And they don't seem good to us. If the Holy Ghost want to get on board, he can get on board after a while. It's got to seem good to the Holy Ghost. Yes. Then us. Hallelujah. Yes. So, how many believe? This morning in the authority of the scriptures. Praise God. Oh, praise God. Oh, you know what say? You say amen, saying amen to a preacher is like saying sick him to a dog. Hallelujah. How many believe enough of the word to know if you allow it with big tongue stretch this morning, it will change yes. your life. Yes. Does anybody believe the Bible? <clears throat> so Matthew 22 and 29, trying to set up, can I ask Jesus a question? Really, the context of the, the passage was about the resurrection of the dead. And Jesus responded, ye err, not knowing the scriptures or the power of God. That's where I want to stay. That's why I want to emphasize this morning, kind of a little anniversary message, a little reflecting back as you move forward to the next level. Amen. That's what the Lord gave us. We want to emphasize the scriptures yes. and the power, the power of God. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The scriptures and the power of God. There's a book that I came across. We have moved, we did like the Jeffersons. We moved on the east side. And we're now in Mount Washington at the verge of Turpin Hills. Amen. I'm looking forward to having folks over. So Jackie can cook. Amen. And let the Lord use her to cook string beans. Amen. And cook a meal from Mother Brock. We have her just put her legs up in the recliner. Amen. Just enjoy herself. Praise God. But we move. And uh, around the corner, there is a St. Vincent de Paul. Store. Mm -hmm. That's my new man cave. I'm, I'm admiring that thing. Books books. <laughs> I got books for a dollar, hardback books for a dollar, paperback books for 50 cents, and every other week they have a sale to cut that in half. You know, I'm a nigga's child, I'm a nigga's preacher. I'm admiring that thing. Praise God. And I found a book for a dollar by Thomas Renier called The Unexpected Journey Conversations with People Who Turn from Other Beliefs to Jesus. And him and his wife interviewed a former Mormon, a Jew, Hindu, an atheist, a Jehovah's Witness, an agnostic, a witch, yes, there are witches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a former mm -hmm. Buddhist, Unitarian, a New Ager who was heavily involved in astrology, a black Muslim who converted from the black from the nation of Islam to an Orthodox Islam and came out of that amen, converted to Christianity, and he interviewed a Satanist. 14 interviews, there were some observations and lessons he learned at the back of the book, but the number one observation he had is that most of the interviewers told Tom Rainier and his wife, that they were amazed at the biblical ignorance they witnessed when they were not Christians. Oh. Several times they heard them say that they knew more about the Bible than the Christians did. Mm -hmm. And I tried, we, it, 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 we clicked on New Jay's Facebook page, we've been doing a series over the last few months, a foundation series, and I tried to impress upon folks at New Jay what you said is not enough. Just the way it's not about just studying the word and rattling off a bunch of scriptures like you, Johnny James, trying to mow somebody down. I'm first of all I'm trying to get you to read the Bible. The yes. best thing Amen. you can do is get a Bible that has no commentary in it, no footnotes, just a regular Bible, and tear out the concordance in the back so you, so you don't make you memorize scripture and start reading your Bible yes. from Genesis through Revelation. Amen. Read it several times. Yes. Amen. That, that'll bless you. That, that's why I'm Come on now. Somebody yeah. just to read yeah. and the book we claim yeah. to believe. Yeah. 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 Lord have mercy. Yeah. Yeah. People are always talking about the Lord talking to them, but the primary way He wants to talk to us is through the Word of God. Yeah. Yeah. Now, from my experience, and I learned the hard way on this side of holiness, the primary way that God wants to communicate to us is through His Word. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't listen through His, through his, to his Word, through the man. A woman of God, and sometimes a child of God, sometimes a children can say, throw out yeah. man yeah. from the scriptures, out of the mouth of babies. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Listen to the word. He's got some ways to get the message over to us that yeah. don't feel as good. Amen. 
the word coming from the word of God. Yeah. Not because people will say, can I get a witness? Mm-hmm. Amen. 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 Can I get a witness? Amen. How many know you didn't, you didn't, you didn't get the word, what, listen to the word straight? God got kind of like a tanning your behind. Amen. 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 Amen.
of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scorn, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And his law doth he meditate day and night. Hallelujah. 37 years ago was the first time I heard. And maybe the first time you heard Elder Dr. James. Dr. James. 37 years ago. Now remember this, the music uh, through the years. We've got to have a sevenfold attitude toward the scriptures as we get ready to transition in this message. Seven, seven things. First of all, we gotta believe. Anybody believe? Amen. Amen. After we believe it, we gotta obey it. Yes. Praise living beats praise giving. Yes. Come on, Miss Hatma. Yes. Come on now. We talking about gonna send the Judah instead of a Jew to praise. Oh, yes. I guess one one, I think it was Reuben of Simeon, but the, the name means he who hears and obeys. Get what was one off the top of my head. Simon, Judah took one of them with him in the battle. Because hearing, and your hearing and obeying got to go with your praise and make it valid. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. <clears throat> so it'll believe it, obey it, study it, delight in it. How many delight in the law? We have a comic book. Hallelujah. My brother used to have a comic book collection. That's yeah. Richard George. He almost, he almost. Left here after his grandmother threw him away. She didn't realize him. He had a comic book collection. He delighted in his comic book collection. But how did he delight in the law and the word of the Lord? So we're going to believe it, obey it, study it, delight it, and we're going to meditate on it. Yeah. Like the cow out in the field. Yeah. Yeah. True. When you go to our house, people think it's like we moved out to the country, so we're ain't that far. We're 15, 15, 20 minutes away from here. Praise God. When you go to our house, you see this big farm. They got five horses out there. There's probably some cattle somewhere. You see the horses out there are grazing, chewing on the grass. That's 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 a that's really a symbolic of how we should be doing with the word. All right now. All right now. Teach it, teach it. On the word of power. And then if you do that, it'll cause us to understand the word. How many know God wants you to understand the word? Amen. Eight chapter of Acts, amen. The Ethiopian unit was reading out of the fifth chapter of Isaiah. And the Lord drew Philip to the chariot. One of the first questions they asked is, did you understand what you're reading? God wants you to understand his word. Amen. So if you believe it, obey it, study it, delight, and meditate it, he will, he will, he will cause you to understand it. And again, that's the sixfold. He'll cause you to delight in the law of the Lord. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Now, if you have that kind of attitude toward the scriptures, amen, especially if you believe the Bible, but I know you have to believe in the power of God. Amen. How many believe in the power of God? Let me take that a step further. Not just believing in the power of God, but I have experienced the power of God. Amen. Amen. Nor the power of God. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, in the series that we're doing, we, hit, we just dealt with angelology and demonology. Now, we talked about all that is associated with it. Usually, there are seven pillars associated with the lesson. And the seventh pillar, I said, we all like, you know, identified the adversary and all his attributes. And we talked about the angels. Here's the most important thing for you to remember God is omnipotent. God has all power. I don't care what the devil can or did do. God has all the power. Amen. So, <clears throat> where you at? Oh, there you go. There you go. Right on. There's water here. Ain't nothing else. Nothing else in here. I don't get scared. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was home with a good sword because some preachers that did. That did. Yeah. <laughs>
son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I know I do know about, about my God, son. So just so every and now little Jedediah Asa, Asa Brock. In in regular numerics, one plus one plus one equals three. But in this numeric, one plus one plus one equals a miracle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. What do those three people have in common? 
You're thinking, I'm sorry, but I never heard him say, I don't know if he wants to go cut a record anytime soon. Take it again. Give you a hint, appearance. Yes, 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 yes. yes. What did you say? They're all black, something else. Give me some more. No, no, that's like, that's right. The devil's not black. She's from, so, from England. Weight loss. Yeah, two, right on. Very good, very good, very yeah. good. Now watch this. Now I'm sorry, that's right. We got used to seeing the mean overweight or heavy. That's right. They look strange when they begin to take care of themselves and lose weight. Yeah. But the way they look now is the way they were always supposed to be looking. Mm. Come on, teach them. That's why we get so used to the abnormal, abnormal. and subnormal that when the normal or the supernatural or the bone natural happens, we think it to be strange. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 I believe in the power of God. Come on now. Round third, head from we might believe the Bible. Yes, no. yes. It's not in written. It's, it's on there. Yes. We got all got it's there. Where my phone? It's on here. Yes. <laughs> got all kinds of ways to read it. Oh, yes. read it. Yes. I got a lot of books. And I and I read a lot, but I do read my Bible. <clears throat> I'll tell you where this came from. I don't know this right. Somebody said something the other day, read my spirit. David West III said something one time doing a message, and I believe him to this day, and I'm trying to watch myself. He said he doesn't stand on the phone longer than three minutes with anybody, because after three minutes, sooner or later, he's going to start talking about somebody. Come on, come and on. Well, I found out to be true. Uh huh. It, it deviate from what the original call was. Yep. Lord, help us again. No, this is just say, Lord, help us again. <laughs> somebody brought up something to me about some, somebody had done, in which they thought in their mind disqualified them, almost, almost disqualified them when they came to the ministry. And the first thing that came to mind was, you must not believe the scriptures. Must not have read about me. Psalmist David. Yes. 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 Giant killing David. Yes. yes. <laughs> that day wrote 23rd Psalm. Yes, sir. That yes, sir. Yes, sir. David. Yes, sir. You must not have heard about what David did. David right. did. Yeah. Then you must not. Heard about Peter. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Had his chance to stand up like a man. Deny the Lord three times. Three times. Oh, y'all know about Come on now. Come on. I hear you. You must not believe what Jesus is trying to emphasize in the yeah. parable of the prodigal son. Yeah. See, you read the word, but you don't understand. Believe it. Okay. Come on now. I guess that's the, I, and I didn't have an extended conversation with him, but I, I I wanted to ask him, do you believe in the restoration and redemption? The wineries, restoration has finally come and restored back to my place of God. What would I know about being restored if I never lost my place? What about his mercy? God never grace. Yes. Who would you know about healing if you never got sick? Yes. Yes. Amen.
when he declares, I am more than a conqueror. Yes. Amen. How many believe the last verse of scripture that we read this morning? He is able to do exceeding abundantly. How? In 30 years, do you know? He is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Praise God. You know, I come up Madison Road quite consistently now at New Jam or among others on Deborah's Road. And every time I see the previous great Christian fellowship of what they thought they were doing to you, I don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, 
glory, but you don't know what's the Lord. What's the Lord. Bishop, everybody wants the anointing on you, but they don't want to pay the price. Come on. Oh, come on. That's why I can't get into that question. I'm using this stuff that you take. That's why I said, look, that would be like Bishop Rock and the grace. They may think they call in the ministry or to make sure before they open up one Bible text and start carrying one briefcase, they are serving the diaconate and shoving call for service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Favorite, one of my favorite movies, I'll be about my time. Ravicon. Lord, I had a devil hanging 
I don't care what date you're looking at this. This is 2020, but you may be looking at this in 2021. But the power of God can transcend time and touch you right where you are. We are right now speaking deliverance to you. Deliverance from tradition. Deliverance from hate. Deliverance from racism. We're speaking deliverance to you in the name of Jesus. We're speaking deliverance to you from false spirits and false gods and false prophecies. We're speaking the power of God over right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We take spiritual, scriptural, bloody authority over any spirit that is not like God. In the name of Jesus. And those that are listening with us online, if you agree with this, I need you to say amen and agree with God right now. Agree with God right now. That he is saying, he's here, he is delivering in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name.